Hey friends, welcome to the part 14. I hope you have visited parts 12 and 13 which has been posted in the cloud kernel group. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so help us grow the subscription as well as you can get tuned to the latest certification content. This is the YouTube handle. You can look out for shorts, videos. There are 600 plus videos, 3000 plus questions. Let's jump into the questions now. They want you to recommend a database solution. That's as simple as this. But what is their requirement? They want a multi-master right? See, multi-master right, if you look at these options, except Cosmos DB, no other database would support that. Hence, option A, Cosmos DB would be the right answer. This is an application or a database which is used for highly responsive and it is always online. So that's why applications like Uber use such databases. You can pause and read this documentation carefully where you know the rights are happening in multiple regions so that you can get the performance benefits. So for example, Uber, if you have uh, an audience being catered in India, they will have a separate set of master database. But similarly for US, they will have a separate set of master database. So that's a multi-master, right? In layman terms, for example, sometimes it happens that you do have a prime minister, but that prime minister is remote controlled by someone else. So in that case, it is a multi-master. The prime minister himself is having right authority. He's a master than himself. Plus the other person who's trying to control this prime minister or make decisions effective through the prime minister is also a master. So th that is a multi-master scenario. The Postgres does not support that. And if you see if option C, that is database hyperscale. The SQL database hyperscale is to handle very high performance kind of stuff, but it will not support multi-region rights or multi-master rights. Another important thing in the question is guaranteeing low latency read operations. Guarantee means guarantee means guarantee. If you do a fixed deposit, there is a guarantee that you will get this amount of money. But if you invest in stocks, there is no guarantee. So that is the guarantee they need. So that is why if you want guarantee, you will have to spend a lot more money. And Cosmos GB is very expensive, man. It is a database on steroids. It is very expensive because it guarantees certain things. So if it guarantees certain things in your life as well, if you are buying a car and the car uh, comes with a guarantee of three years or a warranty of three years, the car needs to be relatively expensive. Go for a second hand car. And if you want warranty, you have to pay a lot more money to support that warranty. So this would be our final answer. Now let us jump into the next question, but do not forget the previous two parts have been uploaded for cloud kernel and the cloud ninja members. Please do take time to access that. Now you can pause this part of the video and read this carefully. There are three questions linked to that part. Let us look at the first question. It says when you enable audit for SQL database one, that is here, that is SQL DB one, which is belonging to server SVR one and SVR one is in East US. You can store the audit information to storage one. Is storage one in East US? Yes, my friend. That is the beauty. This guy is in East US. So if both of them are in the same region, you can do that. You can. That is why yes would be the right answer. Now the same thing is being asked for if you enable auditing for SQL database 2. Where is SQL database 2? SQL database 2 is a part. You see this? It is a part of SQL Server 1, which is still East US. Can storage in storage 2. Storage 2, if you see here, this is in central US. Since these are two different regions, you cannot make that storage of the audit happen in storage 2. So this would be no. Now let us look at the third one. It talks about SQL database 3 and it is trying to store the audit information in storage 2. Now SQL database 3 is a part of server 2 and server 2, if you see here, my friend, it is in West US and storage 2 is central US. Do you see this? So West US and central US are different locations and that is why the answer is no. I hope you got the concept behind this, how we are trying to attack this problem and solve it step by step. Now this is a question, please pause it if you want to read this carefully. I'll try to explain this, but what we have to do is, you see this piece here, you got the range of tools here and you have to map to these two areas. Such sort of questions are very common in the Azure certification exam. In this question, you are basically trying to take the data. You want to move the data from your on-premises sources to your Azure target. It's simple. 
in most of the certification questions that is the problem statement you want to move from on premises to cloud you got to move from on premises to cloud got it see the first thing is for sql database if you see this sql server database for this sql server database you will have to use you will have to use migration assistant database migration assistant you may pause this piece of the documentation and read this carefully what this basically does is when you are trying to migrate your databases from your on premises to cloud it will do a compatibility detection okay and it will try to understand if you do this move what sort of issues you will face that is point one it would also tell you hey guys improve i'm giving you tips to improve the performance i'm giving you tips to improve the reliability of the application so it will give you all of those tips and then you can proceed with the my actual migration my friend now the second piece of the question is you got to migrate the sql server 2014 database to a cosmos db and this is a unique style of migration mind you my friend mind you you are not doing a sql server to a sql server move you are doing a sql server to a cosmos db move so when we are talking about cosmos db this is a high performance database it is working for both sql and non-sql no sql uh, majorly like something like mongodb cassandra and so on the best part of the azure documentation is it will wherever it applies it will mark green tick so this cosmos db is a relational database also as well as nosql you can have both the versions depending upon what apis you use and it offers single digit millisecond response okay in order to migrate the data we got to use cosmos db data migration tool this tool if you can see you can easily migrate data to cosmos db from anywhere and uh, these are the stuff like you can migrate sql server csv files you can migrate mongo databases json files and so on using this okay you can read this blog announcement is how to easily import the data to azure cosmos db and so on okay and this is a bit of a tutorial if you can scan through and go through the documentation if in case you are interested to read more about it this is the documentation so these would be our final answers database migration assistant and cosmos db data migration tool okay so we are done with the questions but let me also explain this concept hyperscale service style in sql database so here you know uh, in cloud environment you can get high availability even if you are having infrastructure failures you have three types general purpose business critical and hyperscale hyperscale tire why it is suitable for all type of workloads okay this is one it can hyperscale both compute and storage to support your business needs that is advantage and um, it can substantially exceed the resources available it, it can you know scale up more than what general purpose and business critical tires can do for you and these are some of the capabilities it has support for 100 terabyte of database size it does fast db backups db restores overall performance is very high and as a customer who should use it you should customers who want high performance very high performance extremely fast backups restores fast storage and compute scalability then you have to use it obviously this comes at a very high price at a premium price because why in the it world this is considered as mercedes benz so mercedes benz is not cheap okay and this has two types of pricing models uh, provision compute serverless compute and storage you can go through this documentation if you want to compare general purpose with business critical and hyperscale and these are the different parameters on which comparison can happen you can pause this video read this carefully you will get more concepts around this so this brings us to the end of this part uh, the previous two parts are in the cloud kernel members area both cloud kernel and cloud ninja members can access it this is the youtube handle you can search for shorts playlist videos so we are totally dedicated to help you clear certifications aws google cloud azure and so on before we wind up for this video let us also understand active geo replication this applies to sql database the beauty of azure documentation is it will tick mark to whichever this feature applies this feature applies to sql database the so replication means you are creating a secondary database from the primary database why you are creating it you're creating it for read purposes the readable secondary database 
may be in the same region as the primary or it can be in a different region itself. For example, you have the primary region in India, you can have the secondary read replica in Singapore or London and vice versa or you can also have it in India itself. Okay. And this is a disaster solution. We keep replicating it continuously. We call it continuous replication. Why? It is all synchronized replication. Why? Why? Because if one system goes down, the system would be still up from the other region without much of data loss. And that is a disaster recovery solution that we plan. And for this purpose, we do a geo replication setup. I would strongly recommend that you go through this piece of the documentation. Pause this video and read this carefully. And this is a documentation which uh, diagrammatic representation where you have this primary region you see this cursor primary region and this is a secondary region you create this secondary region with active replication you see this this database geo replication this is active replication is happening and this is how you create a secondary replicated region the region may be in the same region as your primary or a different region okay so this brings us to the end of part 14 parts 12 and 13 are in the members area do not forget to access it See you in the next part. I hope you were able to focus on the concepts. Only concepts can help you clear the certifications. See you in the next part.